Hindi ka pa ba miyembro ng SSS at wala ka pa ding SSS number? Hindi mo rin alam kung paano irehistro ang iyong account sa SSS online. Kung ganon, panoorin lamang ang video na ito dahil tuturuan ko kayo kung paano kumuha ng SSS number online nang hindi na pumunta sa SSS branch. Unang gagawin, pumunta lang po sa www.sss.gov.ph and you need to click that I'm not a robot and click submit. Then you will be routed to the user interface. Sa kanang bahagi, makikita nyo ang apply for an SSS number online. Once you click that one, ito po ang makikita ninyo. Not member in SSS yet. Or apply online and you can see click here click nyo lang po yung highlighted na word here at ito po ang bubungad sa inyo yung step-by-step -step guide for personal record or for e1 or e6 pinaka importante dito is you need to click the link sent to your email to continue with the application dapat po may active na email address kayo para dito is send ni SSS yung link kung saan kayo mag-fill up ng personal information at makumplito yung whole application. Again, ito po ay valid lamang ng 5 days. So, pagka-send nito ngayon, dapat within 5 days, maklik nyo na po ito at ma-verify. So, first, ito po yung mga information na kailangan natin. Registration record, verification, your name, full name, and your birth date, and yung security, click that I'm not a robot and click certify after that click submit and this time we need to check the email confirmation sent to our email address pumunta na po tayo sa ating yahoo mail or gmail if wala po sa inbox check naman po sa spam folder baka nandun lang yung email ni sss And now we receive the SSS confirmation email with the link. So, i-copy lang natin tong link. Ito po yung link na valid lamang ng 5 days. So, let's copy this one and paste it to our browser, Google Chrome or any browser that you're using. Next is ito na po yung information na kinakailangan, yung basic information about you. Yung contact information, yung home address, at saka yung purpose of registration. If you're from province, click lang po kung asang probinsya kayo at huwag kalimutan i-select yung barangay. Automatic na po mag-generate dyan ang postal code. And now, here is the purpose of registration for employment. And click lang po yan. For self-employed, kailangan po ang business name, registration. And yung monthly earning. And if overseas OFW po kayo, kailangan po yung kung saan country, estimated earning monthly, at saka kung gusto nyo ng flexi fund. Okay, also the foreign address is needed. Next, if you are applying for non-working spouse, kailangan po ang SSS number ng asawa ninyo at yung monthly earning. Pagkatapos niyan, click save and then click next. Next would be your social status. Ito makikita niyo pa rin yung pangalan ninyo at yung i-click niyo lang yung marital status. It could be your single or, or if you are married. Then, pag-input na lang din po yung place of birth. After that, click next. And then here, the information that is needed here are your beneficiaries. Okay, if you're married... And if you're a wife, then you can input here. And so as with the contact information. And finally, you can see the information you input. Mga information na in-input ninyo, double check lang po. If may mga mali, pakiclick sa ibaba yung previous. At kung wala namang mali, everything is okay. Pakiclick na lang yung generate SSS. Okay, so you need to review and correct your entries. Okay, check lamang. 
because once SSS number is already generated, applicant will need to go to the SSS branch to correct his or her information. So, hindi na natin kailangan pumunta sa branch, diba? So, review nyo lang po yung mga information na in-input nyo dito sa system. Double check and double check and once you're done, generate SSS number and then once you cannot go back and update your information here, so are you sure? Click yes. Then here, you can, this is for your UMED card. So, input nyo lang po yung height in cm and kilogram naman po yung weight. Sa iba bang bahagi, ito po yung preferred user ID. Ito naman po ay para sa iyong SSS online account, para magkaroon ng SSS online account. So, you need to remember your preferred user ID. Dapat may walo hanggang dalawang pong characters. Walang ibang characters except underscore. Dapat may number to make it unique. Again, pakisulat ito sa notebook or kahit na anong malinis na papel. Kasi napaka-importante po ng preferred user ID. Hindi po tayo makakalagin sa ating SSS online kung wala po ito. So, you need to remember your user ID. Next is yung ATM application. This is optional. If gusto nyo ang UMED na maging ATM, then you can select your bank and select the branch of the bank. And since hindi lahat ng branches ay available, then you can just unselect that one. And then pagkatapos niyan, click proceed. And click lang po yung yes. Here is, you need to upload the documents needed. If you have A, the most important one is your birth certificate. Okay, and next, if wala kang birth certificate, pwede din namang baptismal, driver's license, passport, PRC ID, or Siemens book. If wala ka doon, sa nabanggit sa B, you can have this list of valid IDs na tatanggapin nila sa letter C. And if ever mayroon kang birth certificate, pakiscan, or maybe picture lang, and then set it into JPEG format or PDF format. At least 2 MB lang po yung i-accept nila. Okay. And ito po yung mga documentary requirements na kinakailangan nila if wala ka, na, wala ka sa A or sa B. So, pakibasa na lang po. And click OK. Here, mag upload ako ng file in PDF format, yung aking PSA. And then, once it's successfully uploaded, remember na may disapproval din po sila. So, we need to ensure that the attached um, file is certified through copy, my front and back, and complete yung mga detalye na nakalagay. Dapat clear din po. So, once we click that, one, ito po yung mga documents na mada-download natin. We have here the transaction number slip. I-print po natin to. And our form, E1 or E6 form for our UMID ID. Okay, and also makakatanggap tayo ng dalawang klase ng email. First is the confirmation na successful na yung registration natin sa SSS online at successful na din ang pagkuha natin ng SSS number. So, dito po sa SSS online account, wala pa tayong in-input na password. Remember, user ID lang po yon. So, this time... Ito po yung confirmation na successful na po ang pagkuha natin ng SSS number. Now, let's go back to check sa email 
kung saan successful na ang ating application for SSS online account. Here, once you click that highlighted word na here, ito po yung lalabas. We will be routed to this page. Kailangan po nila yung last six digit ng SSS number natin to get our password para sa SSS online. So, ano ba ito makukuha yung last six digit? Doon po sa SSS number slip. Okay? Ito po yung SSS number natin. Copy na lang po natin yung last six digit. Paste natin dito. And then, once it's successful, ito na po yung time na makakapag-create na tayo ng ating sariling password. Okay, and now, ito naman din po yung set up security questions. Kung hindi nyo, may mga time na hindi natin matandaan ang ating password or ang ating user ID, they, we have an option pa rin na makalagin. Ito po yung security question. Dapat tandaan lang po natin yung question 1 and question 2, then yung answers nila. And then, we need to confirm our password. And once we're done, makakalagin nakakalagin na po tayo sa ating SSS online account. And we need to remember that valid lang po ito ng 6 months. Okay? And then after that, download lang po ang mga documents na nasa email or na, nasa screen ninyo yung SSS number slip, yung SSS transaction number slip, at saka yung E1 or E6. And once you download it, iprint up natin po yan 